So the print function allows us to print out custom messages in our Fortnite game. You can see here the print function takes in a string, which can either be a string variable, such as this high string, which is defined as the string high, or you can type in the literal string inside of the print, which will print out the string literal. And here's the result. You can see we get high printed out twice in our Fortnite log. And if we open up our inventory, you can go here into the log tab and you can see all your print statements. Here. It's also worth noting that the print statement is not limited to just ASCII characters. Instead, you can actually print out emoticons such as this. And you notice we get our emojis printed out there, even in our line. You can also print out mathematical expressions such as this expression variable, which is the result of five plus five. And you can either do this using the two string function. And in here you would pass in the expression. Or what you can do is you can type in print and then you pass in a string literal in here. And inside here, you want to open and close these curly braces and just pass in your expression here. In my case, it's an expression like this. And that's going to evaluate whatever this XPRE is. It's not going to literally type left brace, EXPR, right brace. It's going to type whatever this is, which in this case would be 5 plus 5, which is 10. And as you can see, we get 10 because that's the result of 5 plus 5. This also works for built-in structs such as a vector 3 and rotation. You can see here we can put these inside of our curly braces. So the literal vector 3, 1, 1, 1 is going to be printed out. And same with the identity rotation. And you can see we get our vectors here formatted like this, which is useful for debugging your player position or any other position. Now, if we look at the definition of the print function, you'll notice that besides our message string here, we also have these two arguments, duration and the color which we can change. So here I want to type in the message five times 10 equals and then whatever five times 10 is. And I want to have this printed out for 10 seconds. And let's say we want to make this red. So what we can do is we can type in comma and then you want to type in question mark duration and then is equal to and you can type in whatever duration you want here. I'm going to type in 10.0 because it's going to last for 10 seconds. And then we can do the same for our color. So color question mark color and then equals and then here you can put in a color you can construct your own color or you can go here and you can type in verse.org slash colors up here which gives you access to named colors and here you can type in a bunch of named colors that are defined within verse i'm going to type in red and we should have this print statement printed out for 10 seconds with the message being red so when i start my game you'll notice we have 5 times 10 equals 50 right there it's red and it's lasting well, longer than the default print duration, which is up to seconds. Uh, and that's pretty much it.